Our reporter Gillian Pele has moved from downtown Joburg to Turfentain. Yesterday, uh, horrific scenes coming out of Turfentain. She is ready to give an update on what's happening there. Uh, Gillian, from uh, yesterday to today, uh, from what I'm seeing in your shot, it looks there's devastation behind you, but it looks a lot calmer. Talk to us about what's happening in Turfentain. A very good morning to you, Leanne. Yes, um, yesterday this was actually the area that grabbed a lot of attention. I'm sure this is why Becky Clele actually had decided to go on that walkabout that we saw in downtown Johannesburg, but also talking to these kinds of areas. Absolute havoc um, in this particular in this particular area of Turfontine where um, we actually uh, got onto this scene as the looting took place. Um, very volatile, but also um, very dangerous uh, um, compromising situation for us journalists here um, with us capturing uh, those looting scenes. Um, you'll know that crowds don't really want us to be here when that's happening because they say um, we are the ones that get them arrested. But to talk about um, the state of affairs in this area, I'm now joined by a community leader, Sibuyile Amnama. Sibuyile, you joined us yesterday and, and you said that the problem here was around socio-economic um, issues. We, we see everything is back to normal today, um, a lot of debris still here. Can there be a remobilization of crowds in this area like what we saw yesterday? I'd love to think so, however the reality is no. As you can see, tensions are still high, shops are still not opened, everyone is urging. We made a call yesterday for leadership to come here, they have not come. It's now 48 hours since we've said, you know, it's public knowledge that there are strikes all over. What has the economic class that done in South Africa? They've taken a, a lethargic posture. It's not, help. it's not helping. The police, yes, they're quelling the violent. That's fine. But it's not dealing with the core and the cause of the problem, economics. South Africa, at some point, needs to deal with structural reforms that have to be done in this country. And what is the problem? The problem is that South Africans feel under sieged. Why? Because we see foreigners that are coming in. They are able to open up shops. When we, as South Africans, go to uh, powers that be to say, can we do this or this, we are told no. There are bottlenecks for, the, for South Africans. And we are questioning, how is it possible for uh, 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 our neighbors to come in and be able to do what we want to do ourselves? On the other side, you know, you, you hear what, like what we heard the news report this morning from the Nigerian government. And we are urging them that they should send a contingent here or a delegation to see what is it that we are crying apart from Nigerians. The Oga cannot just simply tell us that uh, you know, South Africans are dealing with Nigerians alone. No, there are real issues in the area. The Nigerian government must come here so they see for themselves. That's now uh, w you know, with Nigeria. Locally as well. We have a job at mayor that has refused complaints. We've even sent letters to Musi Maimane to say people in the area need a place to stay. They have no place to stay. They use Josco in this area you know, for housing, which is another issue. What are they doing to deal with Josco for housing for people who stay in this area? Severely, but we've also heard the utterances that South Africans have a sense of entitlement. Oh. But they are South Africans. They have a right to be South Africans because they are in their land. Our question is very simple. South Africa has its own you know, systems and customs that are in place. Why is it difficult for the people who are coming in to assimilate to the South African way of life? You cannot come and impose something foreign. We've been here forever. You are arriving in the country. Then you want us to do what you have been done. I mean, let's be honest. Their country is a mess. What is it that caused their countries to be a mess? Why are they coming to South Africa? Can you deal, you know, with, with honesty and facts? Why are they coming to South Africa? The end, um, that was Sibu Yile Nama, um, a community member. Quite a lot still to be discussed. And um, as he said, the socio-economic issues not being addressed. And that's why we're seeing these flare-ups of these attacks on uh, foreign-owned shops. Back to you, Leanne. Jillian Pile in Turfentin reporting on the looting situation and just keeping us updated at various hotspots around uh, the Gauteng area. She's been moving around all morning and uh, I'm sure she'll continue to do so.